Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to week three of the Book It Solo League. I did not get the week two entry in in time, and it is literally the last possible day to do this. I am super tired because I was in Rochester till 2.30 in the morning yesterday at an AEW show. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how enthusiastic I am, but uh, this is for week three of the league. Of Kuwakani's. Oh, we gotta get some music going. Hang on, hang on. Let me let me get this. Let me get this started here. Just some nice, nice little background tunes. Get that handled here, so we don't have dead silence. Turn it down so you can still hear me. That might be a little too low. This is a very professional operation, as you can tell. There we go. So yeah, pretty tired, uh, but I wanted to get this done. You know. Support, support the league and everything. So uh, we're going to be doing this. We are doing six rounds exclusively of Memphis, Tennessee. So, of course, I am going to be sports entertainment. Uh, no surprise there. <laughs> um, I'm going to be just using the regular base game. I'm not going to add in any expansion stuff or anything like that. And the expansion wrestlers, which is the only thing you could do. Uh, I'm going to keep it pure. And just go with that. I will use blue as my token because it makes sense because I'm sports entertainment. Roll to see who goes first. Oh, look, it's me. And uh, then I'll just, just drop this here. Bloop. So uh, let's go ahead and get things started. Um, actually, before we get started, so Memphis, Tennessee. I'll, I'll give kind of like the um, developer's commentary on Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee was, I think, the last... Um, the last venue that was about this music's really fucking loud all of a sudden hang on i think it's gonna vary so memphis tennessee was i think one of the last ones that was developed for the base originally and then london was the stretch goal one for the base game so london was officially the last last uh venue but memphis was the one before that and i developed memphis because i wanted sports entertainment to have a venue that would benefit from the early game um, I wanted to, them to have a venue like a lot of the other ones had, either ones that were um, specifically good for early game or just generally good throughout the whole game. Sports entertainment only really had LA, and LA isn't really s exclusively a sports entertainment venue, so you can argue that this is really the only specific sports entertainment venue in the game, but I had kind of intended um, LA to be the sports entertainment venue because of the higher star power um, benefits and Sports Entertainment given the boost to star power. So, uh, Memphis, Tennessee was developed pretty late on as a way to try and give Sports Entertainment a bit of an early game um, venue that wasn't too strong because I wanted Sports Entertainment to be more of a kind of a later game strong card, strong promotion. So, this was kind of the... Uh, this was kind of the, the happy medium in between those two things. And I like Sports Entertainment a lot. Um, I like Memphis a lot. Uh, Memphis was one of my favorite cards venues design-wise. Um, probably, I don't want to say it's one of my least favorite to play, but it's the one that gives you the most tension um, when you play it. It's it's the one you have to worry about and think about the most, especially in solo. Um, when you're in a multiplayer game, three, four players, the marketplace has a lot more circulation around it, where if, you know, you don't have anybody else playing sports entertainment, uh, you can... You can usually see what you need to get those few people. And solo, the marketplace can can really bone you in one, one way or the other. And that just kind of speaks to the general uh, the general thought of random of, of randomness in general in Book It and other games. And you know, there was a lot of debate and discussion about how random I wanted the game to be with, with the playtesters, with myself. And I wanted there to be an element of randomness in the people you selected the people you were able to buy at any given time, and then the ability for which you were able to put them on your show. Because in working actual independent wrestling shows and assisting in booking independent wrestling shows, very, very frequently things would not line up the way you wanted. Like, I would want to I would want to bring somebody in for a weekend and they were booked already. Or I would want to put somebody in a, against a match, in so, against someone in a match on the show 
and uh, that person didn't like the other person, or they weren't getting there until the other person had to leave. There's always something going on. So those were the things that I wanted the randomness to be in this game, and, and where I wanted it to be a little bit more stable was choosing your venue, choosing your promotion, things like that, because those are things you have more control over as a promoter. You know, you can kind of control where you go and what style you cater to. But when it comes to the actual people you're working with, and you'll notice that if you play Book It, you know, regularly, is that the biggest random elements involve the people. They involve when you have to interact with these characters, because that is meant to reflect the personalities and the real lives and the schedules of these people. And they're not always going to line up the way you want. And sometimes you're going to get stuck with just throwing a bunch of your local goobers out on the show, and, and that's what you got to do, even though you had a perfectly planned out card laid out in your head doesn't matter if if things just fall through the cracks which they very often do in independent wrestling and again that's another thing that i think sometimes people forget is that this is meant to mimic independent wrestling not like AEW or WWE or someplace where you have like contracted wrestlers that you have a lot of control over. So that is what this is meant to reflect. Is it frustrating sometimes? Sure. Will you lose sometimes because of it? Yes. But I feel that that is important to the theme of the game, and it also leads to some interesting interesting interactions between the other players in terms of, you know, somebody starts off really hot and then they get a bad run of luck and they end up losing, or they lose out in the last turn, or they have an amazing last turn and they end up pulling a victory out of completely nowhere. That happened so many times when we were going through this game. So, all right, enough yammering. Let's, let's go ahead and get this bad boy started. Shuffled up. Let's go ahead and lay out our marketplace here. So we got Joshi Queen. Mothman Martin, Celtic Demon, Sarah Star, Valentine, KV Car, Doo -doo 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 -doo. Jane Sienna, Adam Barcelona, Mercy Killing, and Filthington Kenneth. All right. So we have three sports entertainers here. We only need four to, to get the Memphis bonus. But I do not want to, I do not want to sign Jane Sienna turn one. She is unbelievably expensive. Now, KV Carr is a good sign. Celtic Demon's a pretty good sign. They're actually, they have perfect synergy. So, um, if I can get them against each other, aces. But, it's going to be a question of whether or not I can draw two more sports entertainment people. So, let's go ahead and just see what opens up with us first. So, let's go ahead and make those, those signings right off. So, I'll just set aside, what, 11 bucks here? Because we're going to get KV Carr and Celtic Demon. Assuming no one else better pops up in the marketplace. So there's KV Car, And then we got another one in here. Alright, so that's Tommy Fish. So we get Celtic Demon. And that is Nippon Playboy. Okay, so now we have a few different options here. Again, I really don't want to get Jane. Um, I've only got $14 left. Even if I sign Jane Sienna, the odds that I'm going to get a sports entertainment guy for $4, not great. So, I have a few different options. Um, I could try to... I could try and get, grab a special announcement. Maybe I get lucky and I hit, like, a convention weekend. Something like that. Let me redraw the... Or, like, um, Talent Scout. Something like that. Either let me redraw the marketplace or let me dig down in this deck. Pull out the people I need. Um, I could do that. I could sign some of these cheaper wrestlers and just kind of hope that somebody in sports entertainment pops up. Honestly, that, that's probably going to be what I'll, I'll want to do, but I want to leave, I want to leave some money left over if I can to upgrade. I'd like to, I'd like to at least upgrade two jobbers this round. I usually like to upgrade four, but given what we're trying to pull off, I think I'm probably going to have to resort to two. So that gives me $8 left to play with to sign two sports entertainment wrestlers potentially. Now, I can go Kenny and Fish for $3. Or I could go Nippon Playboy and Fish for $2. Kenny is obviously better in terms of work rate. Well, we know we're getting Tommy Fish, so I'm going to grab Tommy Fish. So that's a that's dollar. Double M. Okay. So, did not get the sports entertainer I wanted. Now it's a question of whether or not I want the extra work rates. He's not going to match up with anybody, so I think I'd rather get the extra dollar. Now at least I have a show. 
at least I have, I can put on a full, a full card. It's not going to be great. All right. So we got Rocksteady here for four bucks. So I could get lucky and grab another sports entertainer. Or, hang on, did I throw in the extra dollar I needed? So I've I've spent, oh, I didn't give, I didn't put in the two for Memphis either. I was almost a big old cheater. Something that changes things. Let me just double check everything here. So this is $15, 20, okay. And I have spent two, four, five, two, three, four, ten, fifteen dollars. Okay, so I spent fifteen dollars. There it is. I've got ten dollars left. So I can buy Rocksteady and then potentially have four dollars or six dollars left over for my two for my two upgrades. So we're gonna do that. Unless we get lucky and and top deck a uh, another sports entertainment another sports entertainer here that I can pick up for $6. So no, we didn't. So I'm not even going to try or get shifty or anything like that. I'm just going to use my remaining $6 and I'm going to just upgrade two of my jobbers to journeyman. Boop, boop. I'll just dump them in the pile over here. I don't want to delete them. That's you know, just feels morbid. Okay. So, end of the round, spent all my money. Not going to get the bonus from Memphis. So, that could be an issue. Not a great start. Draw my six cards. So, we've got this, we've got money synergy here, which honestly, I mean, I should definitely throw Demon and Rocks that he ought to begin with. Drop the remaining four cards. We'll do Playboy and Fish. Draw the remaining card. I think I'll probably just keep KV Car around. And then book my two journeymen. And then my jobbers. And then my other jobbers. And then leave KV as my last one in the deck. So, going into money. These guys both get plus one, so I actually get ten bucks from this match. That's a pretty good haul. I'm actually pretty happy with that, um, which is good because I'm, I'm gonna need it. <laughs> um, then from these guys, we get four dollars. So one, two. What the hell? Blip. Gotta love the way tabletop simulator interacts sometimes. One, two, three. Four. We're gonna get two dollars, and we're gonna get four dollars from this match. One, two, three, four. So I pulled down eighteen dollars total, and we've got one wrestler left in the can. So net loss of money, um, but it's not terrible. Uh, and we will get some rep here potentially because this is so demon and steady. Is a three quality match. Playboy and Fish. One. Two quality. Two quality. Nope. One quality. And one quality. So we've got our eight. Which is the minimum we need to bump up one. Which again, slow start. But. You know. Do what we, do what we gotta do. That'll at least get us some, some money next round. Group these guys together, send them back to the talent pool. Group these guys together, send them back to the talent pool. Oh, cheater. Go to turn two. Shuffle. Got KV cars still on the deck. Boop. Shuffle that up. Don't know why. Next turn. Who do we got? All right, good start. Michael Lay, Bud Drinker. Rocksteady, Rain Dragon, Katana, I only need one more, Bad Times Tonga, Celtic Demon, Mothman Martin. Yes, you are welcome. All right, this is going to be a much better round because we have some cheap uh, sports entertainment guys. Wow, they just, they just took Okada's theme for this Fire Pro one, huh? That's dope. 
All right, so let's go ahead and start in order of cheapness. You're welcome. Probably the best sports entertainment value. I gotta spend my two for Memphis as well. One, two. Next one, Hector Edwards. Okay. Rocksteady. Spend our four bucks. I hope I have enough, actually. So, one, two, three. Well, one, two. I'll break this into two fives. Five, five, and now six. Uh, yeah, because I only need one more of them, so that makes sense. Uh, so, Michael Lay. We're going to... Spend four bucks, get a dollar back here. So I have three dollars. So I think I'm going to rather get a special announcement card rather than upgrading, like pushing one job. Let me turn off Facebook here. Blurp. Hope I don't get copyright stricken for, for Okada's music here. I mean, I think it's technically in Fire Pro, so. We'll see. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So, we've got these three wrestlers. We've got KV Carr in here. And I'm going to get a special announcement. I'm just going to lay a special announcement out here. Return engagement. Okay. So, you know, not convention weekend, which is probably the... Oh, I guess I need to replace these guys, too. Which wasn't going to matter. Group together. It's like I already knew what I was going to do, so... And there wasn't really too much that would have popped up that would have made me change my mind either in terms of wrestlers and whatnot. Get rid of this stuff. So now we've got our four sports entertainment wrestlers. Now let's just hope that we can put them together in some sort of favorable arrangement. Draw our six. Oh, we get them all in the opener. So KV Carr and you are welcome. And draw our remaining four. Michael Lay. Uh, do I want to do Michael? Yeah, because I want to get the extra money. Michael Lay and Rocksteady. Now, it's worth noting, last turn, I, I could have just only done... I could have been short a match and taken a reputation penalty to get the extra $10. Maybe I should have done that. Um, but I do feel like, longer run, I would have rather had the reputation. Um, which maybe is the right play, maybe it's not. And then just plonk out these remaining... Yelpers. So, not going to do great money, but it's going to be helped by the bonuses. So, KV Car, so we got four and two, so six dollars for this match. Six dollars. We've got this one's going to be a ten dollar match. We're going to get a ten dollar bonus for Memphis. So, we're going to just include that right now. And then we get another four dollars. So, I'm going to just throw this back and get a five. Get a fiver here. So, we got $30 overall. No, that's... Yeah, well, 10, 10, 6, 4. Yep, so $30. And we get the $2 for our reputation. So, actually, you know, good turnaround. Second, second turn. So, we're going to stack this up. And now we're going to talk about, let's see, reputation increase. So, this one's going to be a five quality match. This is going to be a three quality match. And we got a two and a one and a one. So eight, 11, 12. Bumps us up and right up into the next, uh, the next bracket for two. This is a really good turn, actually. Um, very good for building momentum. So bravo. We did it. We did it, everybody. That was kind of a best case scenario um, turn. Getting getting three of the cheaper um, sports entertainment people having one on the deck. Oh, return engagement. Uh, I'll save return engagement actually. I'll save it for a bigger a, a bigger money wrestler, which I probably shouldn't have, but I already rest. I every, already shuffled everything up, so we'll we'll save it for next time. Maybe that's gonna bite me in the ass, but we'll see. Turn three, new marketplace. Hey, Michael A is back. COD D'Angelo, Rocksteady again, body count, Sling Blade, Mothman, Filthington Kenneth, Bajaro de Fuego, Dizzy Gomez, 
and Roadhouse Randy. So, Sling Blade's hella expensive, and I don't want to buy him yet. So, let's try and go Michael A first. Pay for my venue before I do anything else. Michael A, get a dollar back. Get lucky. Hey, Brian Golem. We are happy to see you. The only other cheapo in the game that did not show up already. Five. Get two back. Huh. All right. Get rock steady for our four. We'll do this and get six back. Blurp. Flip that. <laughs> I mean, maybe I will just get Sling Blade now, because I can get that bonus, and I can return and gauge him back. Um, yeah, let's do it. Because I can use him twice. For $8, which effectively cuts his cost down to $4. For two rounds. Not going to have perfect synergy on the work rates, but uh, still pretty good. And I've got money left over to spare. I've got $11 left over. I wish I had one more dollar, then I could upgrade uh, all of my journeymen. But what I'm going to do is I will upgrade two more jobbers, so six bucks. Journey. Journey. And then I'll spend my last three and get another special announcement card. Hey, another return. I could chain Sling Blade for three turns now. Um, which is almost the rest of the game. Uh, so that makes Sling Blade now, uh, two point something dollars. Uh, now we're real, we're, we're real freaking happy now, uh, actually. Um, that is awesome. Um, short of convention weekends, that's probably the best card I could see. Um, I could also return engagement two of these guys, so then I only have to worry about signing two. I think I would rather just sling blade, do sling blade once and then cross fingers and hope I get him twice in a row. And then we have one, or we have two dollars left over. You know, we'll just bank that. Get rid of all our money. Get rid of all our tokens. Group everybody together. Bring y'all in here. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Draw six cards. We've got Sling Blade and Michael A. Not the matchup I wanted, but okay. We get to draw the rest. Brian Golem and Rock Steady. Then we get our Journeymans matching up. And we get our Jobbers on the ends. So, obviously I would have liked these to have been reversed, but whatever. You know, like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not unhappy about this. Uh, so we'll start off by getting, I'll get my 10 bucks from Memphis. I will get six bucks for my rep. And then we'll actually figure out the show. So this is a 10, $10 match. No synergy, but that's still okay. This is a $7 match. That's not a seven, that's a 10. So we got a five, two ones. So we're $17 on this match or on the show. And then we got two fours here. So we get another $8. So I'm going to just grab a 10. I'm going to put these two ones back. So we made $25 on just the show alone. And then another $16 from the venue and the reputation. Off to a good start as far as that stuff goes. Okay. Just who's, yeah, just curiosity. to see who the last person was. Okay. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the quality. So we got a three quality match here. We've got a three quality match here. And we've got two. We've got two. Then we've got one. So unfortunately, 11. Only another one reputation, not a uh, two reputation. I really would have liked to have gotten another two. But it is what it is. I'm going to use a return engagement to bring Sling Blade back. Get the rest of these yahoos back here, along with this marketplace. Shuffle them up. Discard this. Group everybody together. Flip. 
So how much money do we have to work with here? 10, 13, $43. Turn, turn four. $43 turn four is pretty damn good. Not, not bad at all. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Up to four rep. Let's lay out our marketplace. Shuda, War Kawasaki. Michael lays back. Happy to see that. Moxer, Gino, Bud, Tonga, Horror Show. Hey! Hiho, Daredevil Demon. All right, so we've got our two that we can grab up right now. So let's nab up Horror Show because he's the cheapest. One, two, three. Flip. Okay, that's a bummer. Michael Lay. Come on, give me a sports entertainment. Sports entertainment? Yeah. Oh, actually, okay, fine. Because now I can I can burn a return engagement on Jane. So, okay, we're good. We're good with that. If I can get Jane and uh, Sling Blade, then I'm gonna be real friggin' happy. Uh, so ten bucks for Jane. And I still have a bunch of money left over, actually. Um, so let's go ahead and get... Uh, let's. Well, first of all, let's start off by getting our last two jobbers upgraded to Journeyman. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. We've got a fully stacked local roster. I think I still have to pay my two for the venue, so let me do that now. 10, get 8 back. 1, 2, 3. Uh, I gotta get one more here. There we go. $8. Stack 3. That there. Okay. And this is turn 5. Right? Let me see. No. 1 rep, 2 rep. Nope, this is turn 4. Boop. And, okay, we can turn this over and see. So I'm not even going to bother with Nakahiro right now. I'm not even going to bother with Market right now unless I can draw, like, a convention weekend or something along those lines. So we'll use this three bucks to get a special announcement. Talent Scout, here we go. So, yeah, I mean, I might as well use that. Look at the top five cards of the talent pool. Let me reveal one of those wrestlers and sign them, put the best on top of the talent pool in any order. So, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we'll sign you our welcome. So we'll get another another body on the show for three dollars. Two bucks back. And then we'll, doesn't matter. <laughs> we'll just put the rest back on top here. So... We get seven dollars back and draw another special announcement to see what we get <laughs> another talent scout well we're gonna save that to the next turn uh one two three we get cross promotion i just want to check something quick here shit i never shuffle these <laughs> did i not did i not ah crap this whole uh this whole thing is compromised uh Fuck, I'm going to start over, I think. Uh, yep, that's bad. All right. Oh, God damn it. All right. Group, flip. Start over, start over, start over. So, rather than... Uh, restarting this whole video i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go back from the beginning and uh let uh let everybody see the previous commentary so that was my fuck up 25 dollars it's funny that we had all those kind of very pro this condition uh cards right at the top so I'll shuffle the crap out of these shuffle the dirt sheets even though i'm not buying any dirt sheets but just to be safe We've got to get all these journeymen back. Get get my job, my job boys and my job girls. Three, four, five, six. 
group them. Uh, 25, we'll get our three, three dollars here because we're paying for the venue. One, two, three. Start over. <laughs> All right. One. All right. Otagami, Dragon, Maya, Horror Show, Andy Phenom, Daredevil Damon, Jaden Prince, Bill Krieg, Double M, Mercy Killing. Oh, that's 10. Mm. There we go. Oh, I shouldn't have shuffled that up, but whatever. I cheated. Right, there was a guy on top that was a lucha guy. My bad. Um, all right. So, horror show we'll grab first. One, two, three. Sling Blade. I'm not going to buy Sling Blade this first turn. Jaden Prince. We'll get our $8 back. One, two, and you know what? Ah, uh, Essex. I don't want to buy Essex either. Those are two very expensive guys. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and we're going to take this opportunity to do the other strategy I was talking about, which was just taking the reputation penalty. Um, as opposed to uh, signing a couple people that weren't sports entertainers. So we're going to go the opposite direction. So with that, we're going to have $17 left over. Um, 18 would get me all of these. Um, so unfortunately, I don't have 18. So I'm going to do 12 to upgrade four jobbers to journeyman. Three, four. Actually, you know what? No. Let me go in the order of... I will buy a, my special announcement first because I was planning on buying a special announcement and that shuffle that could get me. Okay. That is worthless. Unreliable source. Great. Um, blep. All right. Now I will spend my $12 and now I will upgrade one, two, three, Four, two, one, two, three, four, journeyman. Now we'll do that. Group everybody together. Flip it over. All right. So this is our first turn. Two dollars left over. Oh. There we go. Prince and Horror Show. No real synergy other than just letting me draw more cards here. And then we got our two journeymen. We've got our two jobbers. We've got our two journeymen. Okay, so we're going to take the negative one penalty because we're going to be one match short. But we're going to get 10 bucks for Memphis. And now we are going to get $8 here for Jaden Prince and Horror Show. We are going to get $8 here. Oop. There. They were all in my hand. That's a legal move. I was just stupid laying them down. We're going to get $8 here from the journeyman matches. So uh, we're just going to take this 10. We're going to throw two back. So we've got 10, 20, 5, 6, 7. We got $27 to work with. Uh, going into the next round. And then as far as quality, uh, so this is going to be a one quality match. This is going to be one quality match. And then two. And then two. So we are going to be, this is only six, so it's zero. So I'm going to start one in the hole, which sucks. And that's probably why I don't like doing the strategy overall. But it does give us more money for the second turn. So we might be able to turn that momentum around. Hopefully. So, let's just hope that this next round goes better. Group, flip. And we've got at least a decent local structure in place. I don't want to do that again. If it comes down to it, I would rather book five shows and have non-sports entertainment people than the alternative. So, so we're going to turn these over. Jaden Prince, great start. This is a great start. Celtic Demon. Daredevil Damon, Maya, 
Bad Moon, Caroline, one more. Come on. Make it easy for me. Playboy. There we go. There's our start. This this is good. Okay. Okay. Uh, I got to spend my two bucks for Memphis. One. Two. That leaves me with $26 left over. So I'm in a very good spot here. Let's go ahead and buy our cheapest guy first. Go with Jaden Prince. Get our three bucks back. One, two, three. Flip. COD D'Angelo. Don't want him. You are welcome. Three dollars. One, two, three. Next. At six, probably not. Probably not going to want to buy him. Eight dollars. So... I can spend $12. I have what? I have $21 left over right now. If I go 6, 12, and then another 6, that's 18. And then, and then my two jobbers, so that's 18. And then that gives me another special announcement. I think I'm, gonna, I think I'm just going to do that unless something else pops up in the market here. Three, four, or four, three. I, I got I got ones that will pair with either, so I guess I'll get Demon first. I'll get back four dollars. Flip. We'll get Caroline. Get back four dollars. Flip. And then we will get our last two journeymen for another six dollars. Six. And then our last three we will buy. Shuffle again. Paranoid as hell. Uh okay. Hometown prodigy. Not great, but it could allow me to, to balance in some interesting. Uh could 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 allow me to, to bump an extra reputation point essentially. Flip those over, shuffle them, draw six. Oh, and everybody's here. This is wonderful. So Caroline and uh Yeah. Uh now I gotta go this way. Caroline and Prince and Demon. Well, I guess we'll draw our four, it doesn't really matter. But Demon and you're welcome. And then we lay out our remaining joinemen. And I will throw Hometown Prodigy on one of them. So I get the extra rep, or I get the extra. Well, hmm. Let me, let me do some quick maths um, at the end of booking. So we're going to be at four, uh, four, five, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. No, I will save this because 16 doesn't, doesn't help me any. Yeah, eight. Or four, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. No, we will stay. We will stay pat. We will stand pat, as the saying goes. Uh, so, money. Let's get our $10 from Memphis. Nice thing is, it doesn't, you don't lose money for having negative reputation. So, that's helpful. Uh, Caroline and Jaden Prince are going to get seven bucks. Seven. We are going to get. Six dollars from You Are Welcome and Celtic Demon. And then we're going to four, eight, twelve dollars from the locals. So we've got ten, twenty, three, twenty-five dollars, and then the ten. So thirty-five dollars, effectively, we made off this show. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. That sets the money train rolling. Let's hope we can get some good stuff next turn. Send all these homies back. Oops, I didn't do the reputation. I, that's because I had already counted it out in my head. Um, <clears throat> but we'll go ahead and do that quick. Just to double check the math, make sure it's right. So oh, this was a four quality match. <clears throat> this was a five quality match. Two, two. And two. So nine, six, fifteen. Fifteen's gonna bump me up three. One, two, three. So we're two rep. 
So we're a little behind on rep from where we were in the previous game, but a little up on money. Okay. Yeah, let's just go ahead and change change up the music here. Restart it with stuff I know won't get this thing tagged for copyright. Ugh. Okay. Take off shuffle. So it goes top to bottom. Okay, now group everything back. Choop. Back you go. And then group you all up. So we've still got our hometown prodigy. We've still got... I maybe should have used the hometown prodigy. I mean, it really would have been wasting it. Um, I could have used it to free up an extra spot. So I could draw more special announcement cards if I wanted to. But then I really would have just been literally burning the card. Like lighting $3 on fire for nothing. So we're going to save it. New marketplace. Turn three. The fish. The bird. The dragon. KV car. The car. The bad times. The filth. The da da da. The daemon. The lee. And the geno. So this is pretty bad. <laughs> this is a pretty bad uh, draw. So KV car is one that we can grab with no reservations. Yeah, didn't get any better. So, uh, now, I guess we get a special announcement and hope we can top deck a talent scout or a convention weekend. So, throw our $3 in. I spent my 2 for Memphis, my 5 for KB. So, we'll just throw in our 3 bucks. Oh, <sighs> Return engagement, okay. So, with that in mind, I will grab Jane. And now we're still in a bad spot. Hmm. Sigh. Sigh, sigh, sigh. Um, this is a five-quality match. Uh, I really don't want to do the concept of, of running a match short this late in the game and my hand is full so I could buy some people and just hope I can open up some spots in the marketplace but then risk drawing them I do have Sarah star here we have Tommy fish we have a couple like one cost people ah uh, fuck yeah, I guess I guess we're gonna do that. We'll get Tommy Fish first, because I'd rather have Tommy Fish. Four back. One, two, three, four. Flip. Blah! Lightning Tiger. I'd rather spend the two dollars on Lightning Tiger than the one on Sarah Star, honestly. One two flip we are bone kids uh i mean i still could just book one short i've got 22 dollars here i don't really need the extra 10 bucks at this point so i guess we just we just try and have a banger show this turn I guess go with Kenny for two bucks because that's pretty good value oh, fucking hell all right uh I mean rain dragon ain't bad but I don't really want to spend seven bucks on somebody I don't really want to put on my show bad times Tonga doesn't match up with he matches up with Tommy Fish, sort of. He matches up with Lightning Tiger in terms of the star power. Alright, we'll get Bad Times Tonga. 
So seven back. Hop. Uh, Katsuo Shuda is hella good in terms of work rate. Sure, we'll we'll go with Shuda. Ah, uh, so go Shuda. Spend my last dollar on Sarah Star. This is this is not going to be great, but I if I get lucky, I might be able to put out a really good. Uh, I might be able to get a lot in in rep in this turn. Memphis ain't happening. So let's go ahead and draw our six cards. Okay. So we've got Shuda and Kenny. And we're fucking dead. Great. Okay. Jane and a journeyman. Uh, journeyman's journeyman and star for our last two. Okay, so at least we have people in the deck. Um, we'll give this journeyman hometown prodigy just to bump them up into the next kind of tax bracket or whatever. And get the card out of my hand. Uh, so money for reputation. Ugh, four dollars. This is this is a this is a bad turn. Let's see if we can salvage a decent show out of this. Four quality match. Uh, three quality match. Two. So four and one is a two. And a two. So six, 13. It's plus two reputation. I still gotta get money first, but. All right, let's figure out our, the rest of our money. So $3 off of this match. Two, three. We get $10 off of this match. We get four, eight, 11 from the remaining. So $24 off of this. We've got 28 bucks to play with in the next turn. It's not bad, but a damn sure ain't great, but at least we're getting Jane back. So then we bump up our rep too. So our four rep prodigy goes away. Return engagement on Jane. So she's coming back. So at least I've already got two sports entertainers in the deck and Tommy Fish. We've got like five wrestlers still in the deck. So at least we're set up pretty well for the next turn. So that's that's good at least. So let's go ahead and put these ones back on to turn four. Group flip. Actually, I should just keep these ones out so I know what I've got. There. Group all of you together. Back in you go. Shuffle you up. Spend my $2 for Memphis. Delete all this other chaff here. One. Two. Leaves with 26 bucks and five wrestlers. And all of, like, this isn't a bad spot to be in. Like, it's not terrible. You know, I basically could, I could run a whole other show and not spend another dollar. Um, but it ain't great. Um, Celtic Demon, Katana, Kaylee, Kaylee, where are you, Ben Kaylee? Jesus. Bad Moon, Essex, Dragon, Maya, Jaden Prince, Filthy Kenny. Okay. Good spot. Um, let's get Jaden Prince first. Uh, one, two dollars. Rude Graz. Now we're, now we're cracking. One, two, three. You are welcome. Now we're fucking cracking, baby. 
eight bucks back. This is the turn. This is the turn where everything everything comes up Millhouse. We'll get Kaylee for five. Because we can we can have the perfect match with her and KV, hopefully. Oh, and Rocksteady, here we go, baby. Get our six bucks back. Exciting. So, demons, so three, four, do we have? We do have some extra fours, so we'll get uh, Celtic Demon. Yes. Because then that gives us an even number of sports entertainment matches. And then we see it's our last $3 to buy a special announcement. Viral video. All right, this is going to be the turn. This is going to be the make or break turn. Um, where we either put on a mega banger or uh, we're dead. Um... Still probably not going to be a top leaderboard um, game, but at least it won't be, like, embarrassing if this goes off well. So, choo choo, -choo. Let's go ahead and draw our six. All right. This is good. All right. So, we've got the perfect match right to begin with. Bam. Four. We have got, let's see... Do we have any better matches? I think that this is probably the next best match for. We've got. Let's see. None of these are perfect, but what makes what 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 gives us the most benefit here among these matches? So these guys have... I mean, it's. I think it's got to be this, right? Draw remaining. You are welcome. Rocksteady. Journeyman. Journeyman. Blam. Fucking blam. Now we're goddamn talking. All right. So let's get rid of all the monies. All right. Ticket sales. Now we're excited. Now we're excited. $10 for Memphis. We get $8 for our reputation. Five, six, seven, eight. So the perfect match here, $10, bam. $12 for this match, bam, bam, bam. We get $5 for this match, okay. We get $6 for this match, bam. Bam, and then we get four dollars for this match, so we're just gonna take a fiver out and throw a one back. Blam. So we've got twenty, thirty-five, thirty-seven dollars just from the show, forty-seven, and then another eight from the rep. So that's fifty-five dollars. Uh hell yeah. Now we're now we're cooking with gas. Now we are cooking with gas. Blam, 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 blam. Okay. Reputation. Five quality match. Five quality match. Four quality match. Three quality match. Two quality match. And a viral video. Bam. So for the reputation, that is 10, 17, 19. So that's plus four. Plus five for the viral video. We are at nine reputation. Blammer. There we fucking go. Now we're, now we're excited. Boom, 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 boom. Get rid of all these. Now we just gotta hope that we can draw something good like that in, in the next couple of rounds. But if we can, this, this might be an okay game. Still got these three strong style guys who ideally we will never book. Um, and then boom, 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 boom. Group them together, flip them over. Group them, flip them. Shuffle them up. Even though, yeah, probably shouldn't have done that. Again, just a good idea to see who I have out there. Boom, 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 
Boom. Boom. Next turn. Two dollars. For our venue. Shuffle them up. Come on, daddy. First card. Bad Moon. Paharo. Maikule. COD. Body Count. Valentine. Jack Love. Sarah Star. Caroline. Filipino Dave. Am I doing like 12 person marketplaces or no? That's. Yeah. Did I cheat last time? I may have cheated. I may be doing too many people for these marketplaces. I don't care. I'm not. I'm not playing this again. I don't care. <laughs> um, uh, if 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 I did, uh, if if we go back and look at the tape, just invalidate my score. I don't. I don't care. Um, okay. So Mike Ule and Caroline. So Ule is the first pick. So four dollars. Get a buck back there. Flip. Horror show. Bam. One, two, three. Flip. Hey, look at this. Rock steady. Bam. Get a dollar back. Flip. Oh, Namor. So we'll get Caroline first. Five, six. Now we'll get Namor. Why not? Nine dollars. Tenor. One back. So now we will, we've got a bunch of money left. We're going to go special announcement hunting. Flip. Uh, card subject to change. Okay. One, two, three. Intermission raffle. Okay. So now we're going to do something that is a little bit risky. One, two, three. We're going to buy a dirt sheet. Play injured. So I can try and get rid of this unreliable source. It's just lighting money on fire, but I kind of want to free up the extra spot. And it, it makes sense for me to pay $2 to do that. Um, okay. So, with that in mind... Oh, we gotta bring up the next person here. <sighs> I've got enough people for a full show. It's not gonna be as good as the last time. Uh, and... I can get my 10 extra dollars. I think maybe we just go with it at this point. Or I could try and buy... I could try and buy Nippon Playboy for cheap. And eh, it's like a one in four, or less than one in four chance that I'll draw into a sports entertainment, sports entertainer. We'll just have kind of a mediocre, um, mediocre turn here. So we'll move on. And then we'll draw. Uh, so get rid of all our money. Six. Yee. Yeah. Horror Show and Namor are going to wrestle. That's interesting. Four. All right. Rocksteady and Caroline are going to wrestle. Four more. And then I guess we might as well just throw our journeymans out there. Although I do make a couple more dollars with Vulay, but I'd rather save him for the next the next turn. If I can. So we do get the ten dollars for Memphis. Uh I am gonna play an intermission raffle. So we're gonna bank six dollars for that. Five six bucks. Uh we're gonna play card subject to change just to get it out of my hand. Um not the I, I, it, this still sucks, <laughs> um, no matter what I do, I think, um, I, I, I'll just keep it as is, because I get the, at least the, the one synergy bonus here with these guys, um, I guess I could have played Ule and then switched them into a better match, but I don't care, so pretend I mix some things around and then put them right back where they were, 
And then we will go on to money. So for our, uh, the reputation, we do get $18. So we're just going to stack a 20 here. Put back $2. Delete. And then for the show, I already got my $10 for Memphis here. So we are going to go $14 for Namor and Horror Show. So we'll just throw a dollar back here. We are going to go $9 for these ones. And then we're going to go four, eight, twelve dollars 10 11 12 So 10 20 30 5 dollars 45 and then wrap like still pretty good money wise not not too bad not too shabby quality is going to be lacking two. 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 a very flat card all across the board this is going to be 10. This is going to be an increase of 1, which is bad. But. Do what we got to do and hope we get a, a great last turn. We've got a buttload of money now. So. Let's hope we can use it. Group up. Group. Flip. So. Group. Flip. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. We've got these folks left. Bloop, 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 bloop. So flip. Mikule, or a Celtic Demon. Whisper. Mothman. Tuashuda. Kenny. COD. Brian Golem. Bad Moon on Agabi. Hijo de Muertes. And Filipino Dave. So let's go ahead and start off with Brian Golem first, because he's the cheapest. One, two, three. Then we'll get Celtic Demon. Ten. One, two, three, four back. Uh oh, we got a pair two for Memphis as well. There we go. Flip. Okay, so we're short here. So let's go with special announcement hunting. Five, two back. Convention weekend, hot crowd. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, I forgot to do my injured and clear out the... Well, I'm an idiot. Return engagement. Useless. Fuck. Okay. Well, oh well, so let's see, we guess we got to buy some more money here, or we got to buy, buy some more wrestlers, so we'll buy Kenny, for two bucks, one, two, three, and Hector Edwards. Um, we'll buy Playboy for a dollar. Flip. God damn it. Oh, so now do we go hell for leather and just try and put on a really good last show? Do we try and just... Uh, yeah, I think we just do. I don't know. Or do we just save our money? We've got eight... 9, 10, 11, 12, we've got, uh, let's see, 4 and 8, 12, we've got like 12 rep in money left. Hum, rum, rum, rum. Uh, no, let's, uh, let's go for the gusto here. We'll get back one, two, three. Four. Ugh. All right. Well, at this point, I'm just gonna try and go for a full, like, a full non non local card. I think we'll get Ketsuo Shuda for six dollars. I 
And now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rep and this. So uh, let's just go with it. Group, flip, shuffle them, draw our six. Um, all right, decent match here. Ugh. Or, hmm. Damn. No, because that isn't. Yeah, that that actually isn't a perfect match there. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go this here. We'll draw four. Now we'll go. We'll go Dave and Tonga here. Draw four. We'll go Playboy and Tiger. Draw four. And we'll go... I'll go, we'll go Fish and Kenny. And we'll go Shooter and Michael A. Okay. So we don't get our money from Memphis. We do get money from Reputation, which is $20 on the, on the nose. Blam. Uh, after, well, I'll, I don't know. We'll do Hot Crowd. So, three year star total when determining Reputation this turn. Which, that's the old wording. I gotta switch that card out, actually. But, do 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 so, we've got Brian Golem and Celtic Demon for our money. So, it was $7 for that. Five, six, seven. We've got Dave and Tonga, which is eight. I'll just take a tenner. Take back two bucks. We've got $4 for Playboy and Tiger. We've got $4 for Fish and Kenny. And we've got... Six dollars for Shuda and Ulette. So throw those all together. Ten bucks. Hot crowd's gonna add into that for the show quality. So moving on to the show quality phase. Five quality match. Three quality match. Two quality match. Two quality match. And a four quality match. 10, 16. It's going to bump us up one, two, three. Just out of curiosity. Ugh. I probably should have kept buying, buying cards, but whatever. Like I said, I'm still pretty tired. <laughs> um, and I may, so I may or may not have cheated. I'll have to go back and watch the video. But I think that the, any bonus I would have gotten from uh, any extra wrestlers in the marketplace was offset by otherwise pretty awful play. <laughs> so um, I will let the, I will let the judges of the solo league decide um, whether or not to uh, allow this score or not. Um, hey, Celtic Demon got injured. Hey, no, he didn't. Um, so that is increased and that's the end of the game. Oh, and I got this. So actually, uh, so it was what it was 10, 16. It was actually 19, which does bump me up another one. There we go. So that's 14 total. Now for money at the end, we've got each of these, every $5 is worth one point of reputation. So four, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. No extra money left over, so that's pretty good. So 34. 34 is our ending score. Um, again, I may have cheated a little bit in the <laughs> in the marketplace. I don't remember. Uh, I had to screw up the first, or I had to redo it from the first time. So um, hope you all had fun. Uh, I did. It's... It's fun, you know, playing for these unique challenges. Um, I, you know, scrub out at them a lot, but uh, it still, it still was a, a good time. So, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you later. Bye bye.